Hello everyone. Today in this video session, we are going to discuss about plant paste named Cetophilus GMS. It is one of the most important plant paste and they are commonly known as mage weevil or corn paste. They cause serious damage to the grain stock under hot conditions. So the, the corn that we usually eat in our daily life as a popcorn, if they are stored in storage house, then they are likely to get affected by Cetophilus GMS. Many countries, including those that have exclusively hot climates, have this species and they are named as quarantine species or quarantine paste. They only feed on anterior part of seed and causes monetary loss in form of food and plant life. They are long lived paste that is adult that live for 7 to 8 months. As we already discussed that the host is maize and other cereal crops you can see the picture over here how the maize is affected by this cetophilus gia maize it it has drilled a hole and eaten all the anterior part of the seed and it does it through the long snout it creates a hole classification of cetophilus gia maize class insecta order coleoptera family curculionidae genus cetophilus and species gms so it belongs to order coleoptera and family curculionidae pest status widely distributed in tropical and subtropical areas of the world and will also be carried to temperate areas on import so if they are imported from India to China or China to any other country then they are likely to get spread in every sort of climate including tropical subtropical and temperate as well life cycle completes develop in in 28 to 36 days so they complete their development in 28 to 36 days usually in summer they survive I mean they complete their life cycle from 30 to 40 days and in winter they complete their life cycle in 123 to 148 days so it's huge females they chew through the surface of maize creating a hole she deposits egg and covers the hole as the oviposter is removed so oviposter here is a tubular organ through which a female insect or fish deposits egg they are a pair of basal plate so after depositing egg they cover with a waxy secretion and creates a plug the plug quickly hardens and leaves a small raised area on the surface of the seed so the so with the help of the raised area we can find out if they are infested or not because they are only the visible evidence of the kernel is infested only one egg is laid inside each seed of the mage. So in each seed there is one egg laid and through that egg one larva comes out, it gets pupate and then adult emerges. Here I have mentioned the life cycle. Egg. Female lays about 200 to 300 eggs during her lifetime. Eggs are laid in stored grains or the field if there is delay in harvesting. So usually eggs are laid in a stored grains in the storage house but if we do any delay in harvesting the crop or harvesting the maize in the field then they are likely to get infested in field itself. They don't wait for the storage house. Eggs are usually small, oval and white in color. Larva found within a tunnel chamber bored inside a seed. So as I told you that the female bores a tunnel or chamber in a seed. So larva are found inside the tunnel. So egg is hatched into larva. A beautiful soft white legless fleshy grub larva. Fish on the anterior part of the seed. So as we all know, the larval stage is the feeding stage, so it feeds on the anterior part of the seed. The larva of Cetophilus GMAs have four larval instars. Pupa. 
egg larva and pupal stage all are found inside tunnels and chambers bored in seed not normally seen because they are inside the seed hence difficult to detect in early infestation if it's a larval or or pupal or egg stage pupa are white in color and are naked in appearance you can see the picture over here of pupa they are very white and they don't have any kinds of covering in their body adult a newly developed adult chews his way out of grain by leaving a large characteristic emergence hole when an adult emerges the female moves to high surface and releases sex hormone and adult male are attracted to these hormones for breeding adult are small and bears a snout they are also known as snout beetles they are dull red to nearly black so they might be dull red or nearly black in color four light reddish spot in back of them can live for five to eight months as i told you that cytophilus chiamis they are long lived the adult only they live for five to eight months breeding condition 15 to 34 degree temperature is favorable for breeding adults also feel like larva control the only way to control cytophilus gms is through fumigation so fumigation is the process which is done by heating grain that means made sheet to 60 degrees and kill larva and eggs however may decrease germination and baking quality of the floor if we do so if we fumigate it then the quality of the floor will decrease and even the seeds may not germinate if we are thinking of planting it since it is an internal pest residual control will only work or kill adult by putting them in contact with tank mix of insecticides so the pest they look like this and we can control it by fumigation it is the only outcoming for controlling this pest or we can also kill them by using insecticides thank you